Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in my previous video I played against Grandmaster Lunatics who's uh, Peter Mikalik. I guess uh, there is a better way to pronounce it, but uh, I don't know. A decent Grandmaster. So, uh, Server announcement. I to play another 5 plus 0. We climbed a decent amount of points, 21 points from this game. And we are... Uh, Another step closer to crossing 2500 on the 5 minute pool, and then we'll go back to the 3 minute pool. So it was a very decent game, I believe, despite uh, playing very slowly as usual. I have to say, I'm waiting uh, for the game to start, and while we wait, I'll do my usual experiment and mention that. Uh, it might be a bit uh, better for my uh, game to talk less, maybe instead of every move, just every three or four moves. And uh, yeah, this way um, I'll be able to play better. It might end up being even more entertaining for you guys if you can see me playing better chess and uh, watching me concentrate sometimes and not just talking uh, for the sake of talking. It takes uh, a bit longer than before mm. yeah I might say also that I'm considering adding new features uh, to the game channel. started except blitz feel free to offer in the comments we're playing against uh, 2170 let's go d4 willow 1969 c4 so far following the main line of the slav defense knight c3 a6. This is Server the Chabanenko slab. Announcement. And uh, yeah, let's go with one of the fashionable lines, Queen C2, in this position. It's a very tricky line. Yeah, this C4, E4. Normally they play uh, B5, now B3. And uh, B4 is one principal choice. Another one is uh, queen a5 played by Bosnia against me in a game I will analyze for my channel later on. Now I believe the main move was knight d1 and I um, have to concentrate c3 I think it was a3 something like e6 mm. I'm sure I should take, but what next? Bishop a3 seems logical, and Bishop d3. Mm. I can't really tell. Bishop a3 is queen a5, then I can take on b4 maybe. Mm. Yeah, let's try. Might be a mistake. Let's see in the meantime who Willow 1969 is. Anonymous from United Arab Emirates, UAE. Okay, Queen A5 on the board. I'm guessing bishop d3 was the right move, mm, but let's try to take on uh, b4 maybe. Mm, yeah, I don't really have a choice. Bishop b2 doesn't make much sense. Server okay. announcement. So, yeah, I missed it was a check. I thought he can just uh, move the queen and I take on c3. Cb2 check just uh, ends the game on the spot. Yeah. I'm a little bit tired, as it's about uh, a bit after midnight in Israel. Mm. Let's try to trap his queen. We should be three castles and maybe knight takes c3 to trap his queen later on. And uh, I really hope uh, my position will hold ground. Mm. I have a feeling it wasn't accurate to play bishop a3, but I'll have to check later. 
Bishop takes c3, or Bishop c5, she goes queen a3, can play d5 next and try to trap this queen. Um, can also play d takes c5. Okay, let's try d takes. I really want to maintain my chances to trap the queen. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Mm, I don't have much choice. I don't want to give up the c5 pawn. So, yeah. I misplayed it a bit. Mm. Taking on f6, more castles. You know what? I'll try this move. Queen b2. If, if he takes on c5, knight I will take on f6. And my idea is to play for compensation. He's an exchange up for a pawn. But I have the two bishops and uh, a bit more space, a bit more activity for the moment. Hmm. Yeah, can't say I'm a big fan of my position, but uh, it's not losing yet. And, uh, yeah, Bishop C4, I guess is. Oh, yeah, I have to go to C2. I blundered the pawn. Uh, two pawns actually, if you count the tempo, and he missed it. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. It's not easy to server announcement. My mistake, nevertheless. Let's try king e3. You can check me on g4, but then I'll go back. I could have played knight xc5, but then knight e4 with tempo on c3. Mm. Knight c6, knight c3, king d3. I guess it would have been better. Yeah, now this pawn is hanging. Have this pawn hanging. Should play something. Let's go knight b3. I just blundered e4 and he didn't take it. Usually blunders comes in come in pairs, so it's easy to understand, but uh, still very surprising to me that he missed it. Yeah, now, now g5 comes to mind, and bishop d5 also. Also rook a1, let's just develop the last piece. I'm not sure if I want to take on a6, but it's good to develop. And I keep all the pressure. I have one minute left, so let's try to play faster and talk. Uh, much, much less. Position looks winning. Just have to maintain the the balance, the, the consolidate the position, not maintain the balance. Yeah. So demonstrate some technique. Check.
33 seconds. Position seems completely crashing, but I have to play fast. Server announcement. Check. Black resigns. So I'm completely winning and I have enough time. The game might have followed rookie 8. C7 check. Check. And then rookie 8 mate. Check mate. So yeah. Black rightfully resigned. I'm still quite shocked uh, from the blunder. I made maybe not the only one in this game. I have to look at my thought before uh, continuing uh, the next videos. I rehearsed it very well before my game against Posny, but uh, somehow I don't remember the right move order here. Yeah, maybe it's Bishop D3 before taking. I don't know. Let's have a look what the computer suggests. A B4 and now Bishop A3 takes on B4. Seems like everything was correct actually. And now Knight E5 was a strong move. So maybe my intuition didn't mislead me. Knight E5 I needed to find. Probably with the idea of Knight C4 or Bishop C3 followed by Knight C4 with tempo. Yeah. And uh, then knight b6 at the end. Very important to get the exchange back. Nice. Okay, so... I'm not very happy with my play, but uh, I still maintain my winning streak, which is very important. I, I'm not sure if uh, I'm right, but uh, it should be something like 10 games in a row already. I think it was 9 before this game, so it makes sense. Yeah, queen b2 looks like a logical move to try to complicate uh, the game if he takes the material. Make it more hard for him. Yeah, and now bishop c2 might have been a better move. Let's see the evaluation. Point 0.3 for black. So, knight d2, yeah, should play passively. So, in this position, after rook b8, bishop c4, knight takes c4, it's just overwhelming, I think I'm just lost. Yeah, fortunately he took here, I think I could take on e5, but uh, I was so shocked from my blunder that I forgot to calculate. Yeah, knight takes c5 now is just winning for white. The reason is that if he takes back on e5, I take and I have tempo on the rook, and if he takes on e4 after knight c6, again I have a tempo on the rook. And knight c3 check doesn't help, because after king d3, two pieces of his will be hanging. And I will end up uh, with more material. Yeah, this was a mistake. My guess is knight g4 check would have been uh, good. Uh, rook e8. Knight e7 was played. Mm. It was a mistake. Yeah, rook e8 would have maintained the balance. Okay, so knight d7, knight d3, rook e8, yeah, and uh, from this point I felt like he was under pressure, like white is better, yeah, I'm right. Computer evaluates it as, as plus one. Yeah, now after knight f8, taking on e5, I think it was more or less clean. It was pretty easy for white to play, the position was more or less playing itself. I took the exchange, and it was two pawns up, just kept progressing. And Check. There was nothing left uh, 
to, to do except uh, force him to resign with this final idea of check King check yeah all right so overall a decent game and uh, except for the blunder I have to admit I'm a bit tired but uh, I don't like making excuses so I, sh I have to improve my uh, alertness and my focus uh, during the game and uh, yeah I hope you learned something from this video and uh, if you want to learn some more then uh, feel free to watch the next videos.